one on. Have you seen it with those dogs? No. Oh, it's absolutely hilarious. They're dancing. And they really are dancing. Twisting around. <laughs> Have you seen that advertisement for Tell Us with the dogs dancing? Oh, yes. Yes, I have. Oh, yeah, it's great. Kind of yeah, oh, yeah. Paul, it's really cute. Oh, look. Little ones and big ones in the Oh God, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are so ridiculous, but this is pretty good. Not yeah. so good service, but good commercials. Nana, what's the early the first Christmas you remember? How old would you have been? Like what well, did you did I'm you used to have to a tree tell you and all about that? The Christmas when your mom was a little girl. No, no, I want your for like when you were a little girl. Did you used to have a Christmas tree or yeah. Yeah. Christmas tree and. Uh, well, what year it, you were? How, you were. <coughs> what year were you born? Nineteen twenty. I was born yeah. in nineteen twenty. Yeah. Twenty. So after World War One, that was all done. Yeah. Two years after it finished. Well, we couldn't afford, and neither could the neighbours. We were all in the same boat. It was a depression. We had a yeah. pillowcase. You know, a nice white iron pillowcase each. Took it upstairs, hung it on the bed, put it on the okay, bed. Okay, yeah. We got an apple, an orange, maybe a pear, some candy, and a small little gift. You know, a truck or a little doll. Like a toy. But that was it. Yeah. That was definitely it. And we didn't think, because there were no big gifts and fancy th People went on, they were all, they weren't ragged and, you know, but some aunties would buy us always clothes. And, uh, but I do remember when your mum was a little girl, I'll never forget this. Your mum said it was one of the happiest times in her life, that cottage, because it was beautiful. I mean, today they get a lot of money. It was a cottage, but it wasn't thatched roof. But mm. it had a fireplace, it was beams, it was beautiful. But the stairs were two bedrooms and the stairs were very narrow. So we, <coughs> we bought, I don't know whether we bought it on my mother or grandma, or Pom Pom's mother and father. I've forgotten, but I know we carry, it. Pom Pom said, leave me alone. Let me take it up. And... Uh, you know, the stairs were narrow. The pram was wide. All of a sudden, bloody big bang. The doll wasn't broken and neither was the pram, but it wakened her up. So we, another hour or two we waited till we could take it up now. again. But we, ju we just laughed because it, it was funny. <laughs> and somebody asked me where in Lancashire Dad was from. Was it he was born in a place called Chatterton. Chatterton. And Failsworth. And we live quite near Chatterton Way. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, no. near Failsworth. Failsworth made the, now they make the TVs, but it was in the big electrical place. Yeah. But they had a shop. They always had a grocery shop, but his father always worked as well. Mm -hmm. They had gold mines of shops. Mm -hmm. The last one that the, the parents died in, they used to queue up outside, but because one day a lady went in and she didn't, didn't know what she was going to have for a, a lunch because there was cotton mills around. And she said, well, maybe I can let you, I made steak and kidney pie, and that's how it came. They were queuing up outside. She used to make steak and kidney pies once a week. Yeah. And he had allotments. He owned these allotments. And he was a beautiful gardener, had greenhouses, tomatoes and all. Sold them in the shop and the flowers in the shop. It was a gold man. That was Pom Pom's dad, was it? Mm -hmm. Horrible man. Horrible man. Yeah. And they never fell out. He never argued. Amy. But she the was story Amy. was, his was mother she, was lovely. Was she called Amy? Yeah. The story was, all the neighbours said, she absolutely adored him. Who couldn't? Len, you know. And he was jealous. Mm. And that's what why. Was his dad's name? Barton. <coughs> oh, my mother and Barton. dad hated his guts. But we couldn't say anything about him in front of it. 
like 10 o'clock he had to be and it was 23 years of age. Mm. And his bike conked out. So he, he, it was quite a way off his home and he had to walk. It. And it was 11 o'clock and there's something like that when he got home. So the windows opened like that. And he opened the window and his mother told me this. He didn't tell me. Never used to, never used to run him down. <coughs> Are you going to work tomorrow? He said, well, of course I am. He said, well, here's your clothes. And threw them through the window, and he slept on a park bench. Mm. That was the kind of father he had. At 23 years of age, mm. he tipped all his money up every week. Maybe it wasn't what they get now, but he got half a crown, and I've got two shillings. And we had to save up to get married with that. Two and six he got a week. I don't think he'd do it again. He went through hell with me. My mother said to him, well, he always looked clean, tidy, polished shoes. She said, John, your dad and I are going to buy him a suit. It's shiny, you know, with wear, it's shone. I said, no, he wouldn't. He'd be very, very upset. Don't do that. So how old was Papa when you guys got married? I was 20, he was 23. Oh, so shortly nice. after that, so he, I think <laughs> after the park bench, he... <laughs> <laughs> and then how long were you married when the before the war broke out? Because you would have been twenty five. Well, what would no, have been right then? We, you would have been already the war on. Broke out the year we got married, nineteen thirty nine. We got married the year after yeah, mm. when the, he was called up. Oh, so it was nineteen forty. Oh. He was called to service. Do you know, he that. drove a double-decker bus, and it, but there weren't mess, many buses running, so they had to be let go. But he got, right away, he got a job in, in the steelworks where I was in working in the office, and I was a file clerk. And they told him he didn't need to go because they were doing ammunition. And the silly bugger, as he was, he could have earned a lot of money. He said, I didn't come here to get out of going to fight for my country, so. But he also could have gone into um, surveyors. He could do anything. He but I thought he did. What did he What did he do in the war, though? Eight, eight I thought he... Bridges. When yeah. we go... Yes, he was... At, you see, with him working at this engineer shop, they put him in the engineers, and they were building the bridges up he when they were... Oh, okay. He was in the Royal that. Engineers, yeah. And why I call Carol Leslie, well, not the, the, me, the male is called L-E-S-L-I-E, -E, called her L-E-S, -E because one of his mates that he was with we used to go and visit him, a marvellous pianist, down in Swinton in Wiltshire. And he said, he said, this guy said, Les Sam. threw him over his back. Yeah. I don't know how it came about, but he saved his life. So that, and he was called Les. <coughs> and that's why I called Carol, Carol Leslie. You, <coughs> Pom Pom was a, I couldn't now go please. to the wedding of this guy because I was pregnant with your mum any time. So I've got a photograph of him. He was the best man at the wedding in his uniform. Because hmm. Pom Pom never talked about I never, he never really oh, talked about his time yeah. in the war, did he? You know he? what? He wouldn't oh, talk to any, he said he just wanted to forget. It was such a terrible, terrible thing. Yeah. It's upsetting to talk about. Yeah. But he wasn't the same when he come home. I'm not saying he was any worse, but he was quiet. He was different. I used to say to him, well, try and talk to him. He wouldn't argue with you. He wouldn't, he'd never mind, he'd push it on with that's it must do something to them six years of that he was in for six years yeah was he in france that whole time or? 1945 when he came home and i used to always show photographs of you of pom pom and wherever he came to in england when he was just learning and whatnot i'd take her we went and one night he was in what they call western supermary in derby and not far from there was Rolls Royce, <coughs> where they did the car engines. But when the war Josh, started, don't be a fan. engines for the planes. Oh, That's where they I used to go to try and get. No, and with it, mm, and they're here. So we'd run yeah, down the garden in the shelter. No. 
at the Stop. where I stayed Just with this lovely couple with the girls. Rain. No, don't and, waste the floor. And some of the boys from the camp used to come. <laughs> and no, Les used to play the piano, used to sing. And then his wife, Les's wife, was called Joan Allen. I'm still getting cards off his son, letters. He said, my mum and dad there called the go. world. They're all in special places in the drawers because they're both dead trouble. now. Anyway, <clears throat> one night we got put your mum to bed. She was only two years old and they'd come to England for something. And I don't know what. And <clears throat> Les was playing the piano. They're here. They're here. Down in the... So I went to get your mum and I said, I'm not going down, I'm not leaving her. I'm not waking her up to go down there. Yes, you've got to, we won't be responsible. So we took a vote and all of us said we'd stay. It was terrible that night. Pots come down, even the piano, heavy it was, rocked. Smashed cups and all. We all clung together, we said, we're all right. Ran upstairs and she, your mum was fast asleep. So, <clears throat> Mr. Evans, the, ma the man here, uh, of the house, <clears throat> came running in. Where are you? Where are you? It was a big, they had a big, big lot, big, and the shelter was almost blown out of the ground. We'd have been gone. Mm. So, that was one of our lives, we said. that was. So, we started singing and we were okay. And, and the boys went out next day and bought new mirrors and fixed up the piano and all. Oh, but there was a big dance hall there, <coughs> and we got in the final, Pom Pom and I, for about a quick step. And then they had to, yeah, we got in the final. And um, and it was a hell of a sight. They said you would have won anyway. But anyway, they were called back, so we went to leave. But that was a lovely family who we stayed with. People used to do that, open the homes and let like them. You've eaten yeah. them all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Can you watch this? But then when yep. we you went to it, France, <coughs> he made friends with this. Right well, they call him a country something. I've got a picture of the house. And the, it's, and the name of the house is in uh, French. So That's what I've got to give Kendra. Yeah. To see if she can interpret that name. Mm. I'd like to get in touch. Because this guy was an English guy, and he met this girl, Lynette, and they were a very gentleman farmer. The house is all ivy, it's a huge stone house in this place in France, where they fly, fly, fly. And they had two girls, Minette and Peppy. And Minette was going with this soldier, and he wasn't allowed to write to her back and forth. Yeah. So your dad could My write, write to her because he was in English. So he good. And he wrote to her yeah. and said how he missed her and all that. Mm -hmm. Then she was pregnant. And he, they used to go for dinners at week. Oh, he, he said they treated us like kings. But the one he got and we were in the cottage. Oh, God, and we didn't know his parents, where his parents lived. Not far from us, but very wealthy. He was a scrap iron dealer, and that they they came up a lot of money in the war. And they said <clears throat> we didn't get a phone call. I don't know. I, I think we got a, a letter or something. But they came, and they came to the cottage. They came, Minette and, uh, and Pickersgill. I tried to find them. We each got one of these. Sam's finished. Well. Adam, how far are you? What are you like? Done? Yeah, it's broken. Yeah. Done with this? That? No. Did you um, get that from my room? No, how many are you how many have you eaten? All of it? Oh a few, a how few. You doing? How you doing? <laughs> how, how's your day been? Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Adam, bum, how bum, old bum. are you this year? That's bum, bum, bum. That's I don't think that. it's of concern. <laughs> That's already <laughs> broke. That's already so. broke. That's me. Ah, Golden Mario time. I love you. Yeah. I love Holy you. Holy crap. Well, I want you to show Auntie oh. on the other side. Hey, don't Let's throw it about. I want you to show Auntie Carol. Sure. I'll show her. Yes. Hey, rock that hat for me again. I'm going to put it on video. Where's that? Oh. Where's this shiny hat? Are Sam? Yours? Yes. 
Sam, how old are you this year? I am the new business. How old are you this year? Nine. Everybody in this house is the age of smart ass. He's <laughs> eight. Eight? And what is it? It's Christmas 2011. Yeah, and he will be... What are you doing? When are you going to be nah. fine? You can't video the videographer. January 16th. You can video it in fisheye. What is it's 2000? How old are you? You're 17? No, 16. 16. Going you on get, 17. Do you have your driver's license yet? Yes, I do. Really? Not Doesn't so look much. like me, though. No. Is it the old you before the glasses and He's the cool hair? He's nine on the 16th of January. I look nine like I came off the, the reserve. He's 42. That's nice. Get that on video. Wow. Do you ever. <laughs> look at that. He's very different. Nana, how old are you this Christmas? You know I'm 91. 91. Oh, yeah, because we just said it was... You were born in 1920. And what year were you married, Nana? He just broke my chip and spilled it all over the Kaya. Kaya. Sam. Where's my pooch? Sam. Kaya. Benji. Chip. Benji, look. Chip. Benji. Why don't you call them and ask them what time you're going to be here? Why would I do that? I'm picking them up at 1 o'clock. Oh, well, they'll be here about 1.30. About one one yeah. yeah. Well, she said she wants everybody to stay for supper. The leavings for supper. Oh, yeah? I don't think they will if they come in early like that. Oh, yeah, I do. Like, mm. But you have to tell them about your brothers, Nana. Harold and Bert. And, uh... I had a wonderful childhood. I wouldn't change it for anything. How many yeah, kids How many kids in your family? Seven. I was the eldest. The eldest of seven. But the boys were very naughty, weren't they? Or did they play well, hockey on the dog? Fun loving. They were never did anything do do? bad. They were oh. fun loving. Well, fun what, loving. what two colors are you picking? I'll be red and blue. They used to Come fight. Can you sit? They, okay, they made one you another snow. It's <laughs> oldest and youngest. Hey! Hey, are you Christmas dog? And you roll a dice. <coughs> I got a... One and a skull. Kaya. That means this guy is going to... I'm finally making myself a cappuccino. Huh? No, I'm finally making myself a cappuccino. All right, you finally get around to a coffee. Can we have a cup of tea? Uh, yep. Yeah. Julie, did you put the tea in the, in the pot? Yes, I did. It's all good. Well, here. One of these three. Okay, well, what's the best place to move? It's just here, Joy. Oh, dear, lovely child. He's a good kid. Oh, you should pick. This one, this one. Little Sammy Sosa. Mm. <laughs> go, go that way. No, I'll go where I am. I'll stay there. Okay. You can't. Oh, okay. Okay, this way. All right, now what? It breaks my heart to think about two children oh, okay. being brought up without a father. It just. Oh, same thing. I know it's got to be, but it's very upsetting. Oh. Well, what did your dad do for a living? No, My dad. Was wounded in the right. war. What do you want he only had one First cheek. World War. Uh, this was the other side. Yeah. He only had one cheek. He had no. 40 operations. We should go here together. And he was in bed. We used to go and see him at the hospital. We tried we to, to get the train there. Oh, we all went to see him. So you, every so, week. Uh, one of these and guys, uh, you he was in like Southport, which is a you know, oh, okay. If you have all thing as me. <coughs> and they said he was in stuff. terrible, terrible yep. pain. They were going to take his leg off. They said he got gangrene. Uh, I'll go take your leg off. And he said, you're not taking my leg off. Hope yet. I get one he said, again. Yeah, it's my leg. You two. Can't. two. Well, you can't live with you it. You know, know like this. Right. He said, one. the bed wheeled. Take me no, outside. He said, it's too cold. He said, I want to jump. Get out of the bed. How long? I kept going to see him and he uncovered his leg. How did you do that? Because he said the because air. He didn't I have to take it away. So the I air. I get to open it. Like. 
Like, try not to open guy, all of them. It was a wonderful right. father. And what is that? Well, you, that you should open, just kick a chance if you then can. Then he came and back, and of course, oh, he did get a pension, but what it was okay, and but he didn't feed us properly, so, you know. Now, he keep these guys don't have everything. to value when you My mother had the house spotless and wonderful cook. Clean and everything. We had four bedrooms. I mean, I I was born. You've seen the no, picture of that house that's and modernised it. Got the wool for it. That. That's where I was born, kind of Bridget like Green. No, and then when our okay. house comes along, we have to get to the council house. Oh, be four there. bedrooms. Okay. And it was nice. Anyway, um, now we have to he went to the council. Why? He got a job. Because you got this. Sweeping oh, the sweeping. There, was, there okay. wasn't okay. sweep and cleaners then. The no, no, no. It was like a little cart with the brushes fitting on the side. And I didn't know that he got this. I knew he was going to work for the township. What was he going to do? I'm coming home from school, and the girls are saying, Look at your daddy's. And I hid behind a pet. I felt embarrassed. My dad came to sleep. You see, these people downtown and all that, that what, they wouldn't do that. That's too. Cool. No. Okay. They wouldn't, they wouldn't take a, a, a street a job. Okay. Wouldn't pay enough anyway. I don't know. I think My it's dad, a pretty good union job. Now you get benefits. He would not be <laughs> do anything easy, before you accept charity. Mm. And he, he got through it. Okay. And you, uh, they came to. Uh, Pom Pom was really clever. So he was could do anything. And he, <coughs> he went to, headmaster went to the show. And he, and he said, could he, do you have a real uh, smart suit? Could, would you let him sit for a scholarship? Oh, At 11 years old, he could sit for a scholarship. Wow. He said, no. He to the nurse post, go wherever he yeah, That was dead upset. Because yeah. he knew he could have made it. He yeah. had to go to work. So he worked in, I don't know what the he did. The other ones are great. Served in the shop when he came home. Because he uh, keeps to keep it open till 10 o'clock. There was no shops around. Only that one. Mm. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. cigarettes, <laughs> candy, anything. Flowers, vegetables. And I used to say to his mother, you should have half a day off. You know, you, you work so hard baking all these there? things. Oh, I got her to right. come to the afternoon movie with me. Okay. Oh, oh, you know, and his again, father, he was so something. rotten, yeah. he never let uh, me know he, that his, that his uh, mom was ill. Hi, Amelia. Hi. Merry he Christmas. Never, he, he never let him know. <laughs> that okay. let us know. Mavis, was his sister, is only 11. Oh, I got one well, same thing. And he yet. never what let her come thing? on the bus. When do you do this? Wait, when, no. When she did come. You're not supposed to do that. I saw her die in hospital. That doesn't count. Oh. It's supposed to spin this. You, I never spent. Was I supposed to spend it before? Yeah, but you're not supposed to roll unless you win. The wall was in. Unless I win. That he never had a fire. Up. There was a fireplace upstairs. They didn't light it for her. She died with pneumonia. I blame him. Red? Lost. Lost what? Oh my God! You've never looked better. Huh? Or ah. The funny one. <laughs> Let me see. That's pretty good. Banana, the non-funny one. He said you never look. You look, you look like you've got ten chins. <laughs> it is, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Ew. That's who he yes. is. Oh, there was a lady. You know, you get visitors. So did I, is a lady a had this no, thing it's with her. Red, white, so you Everybody was. It's on red. Well, I so have blue. never. It, it was down white? here, his beard. And when we saw the back like of him, this. the hair at the back was tied Isn't up in the bun. And as long as the front. <laughs> again. I don't understand what I'm doing. Okay, now what's that? Black. He loves that okay. shirt. He's always now got it on. Who, Sam? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love this. Oh, my gosh. It's like my baby child. Holy crap. Oh what, your new video cam? Yes. yes. What's it called again? But you do hope for your other guy. Okay. One in the sky.
called. Oh, and these guys go away. Watching the detectives. The guy, the last guy on Jeopardy. I have never seen a smarter guy, and I've been watching it for years. He's got it right away. Nearly two hundred thousand in a week. In five days. Monday, Tuesday, yes. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but and he's on again. Else. I can't wait. Oh, he's very clever. His memory. Where do you attach it to? The Why head. do you attach it there? Because you attach it to the earth foreskin. He's got, I say he's got a photogenic Nearest mind. To what? Eh? You're way over here. Isn't this the nearest post? <laughs> no, the you're girl said to me the other day, I'm oh. well, Did you tell us that you had prunes? I said for years. Yeah, because, well, you know, I heard it. Yeah, that's I did it. Well, that it. Made, that, that's you why you, you, you've got okay. such a wonderful You attach it to here. We're just ready to attach it to somewhere else. Right? Mate, you have a good memory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's not why I take them. Mm. Uh -oh. Did you know that, Adam? If you eat prunes, it may give you a good memory. This will be <laughs> very quick. If Adam ate prunes, he'd be in the bathroom for hours. What year did you come to Canada? Well, Nineteen fifty-seven. Yeah. We've been here fifty-four oh, years. Wait, no, 54 no, I don't years. know. It's and what made you decide to move here? I got it because we'd come on yes! holiday and really you know. liked it. And Pom Pom said, "If you're not going back to England, this is where we're going to retire." Like... And we oh, were lucky. Got... That look, that was a beautiful house, you know, six fifty Goldie. No, 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 to Canada. We got what made you decide to leave England? Well, really, I, I didn't oh, want to your leave. Brothers no, I won, so I didn't. <coughs> there was a, a big Jeez. kerfuffle about the uh, oil thing with Saudi Arabia. And there's going to be another, you know, threat. Oh, another war, said, maybe? I'm not going in again, I'm not going in again. So that's what, what, why we came. Oh, but my really? My two I didn't know that. That's my crazy. two brothers came before. before oh, they were already they were here. Yeah. Here already. And they, now, why did they, who was the first to come, and why did they think Canada? The same thing. Saudi Arabia, because they were called up, they were in the Navy. Uh -huh. was, my brother was a, 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 he joined at 16. He was a petty officer. He was in charge of the number one gun, and he was blown up, gone. 23 years old, mm. beautiful boy, engaged to be married. Oh my God, did you see she called her, when she did get married a few years later, she called her little girl, Carol. My daughter was absolutely stolen. Oh. Yeah. Okay, is it my turn now? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Well, my dad wouldn't get on a bus. Oh, I got Because you see, he, he couldn't no, stretch his no. leg out. He didn't well, like to say, can I sit on the end seat? Mm. Same with the plane, but he said, I'm going to that base. You thought the world of your mum and get every month. I get to use the I'm going to Carol's wedding. And they came. Did came they? To the wedding. You know what's yeah. the bad thing? And we hadn't been in the house only two these? years. Oh, but we, how do we it was furnished now. Nice. There was um, a spare bedroom for them. And my dad... Um, Where, the house in Rexdale? Yeah. You'd only been in Canada two years when mum got married? No. No, can't be. No, she was married in uh, 18, 1942. 19, 20, years. No. They came in. She, she was married was at 20? Yeah. She was well, she 20, came at 17. She said she was 17. Married, but she was 21 in the in the uh, October that she was married when, in the August. So oh, three or four years, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not date. What year? 1963, I was having June. Yeah, I was born 63. Carol was born so. in 19... 63! No, Carol. Who? My sister, Carol, was born... <laughs> was, nah, oh, born in 1942. 42. Yes. I was in hospital 10 she weeks. She would have been 21 years old. I was in hospital 10 weeks. And, and she moved died. to Canada when she was 16, correct? 13. No, 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 no 17, she said. No, no maybe 13. She was, went to high school and they had to go on a bus. <laughs> no, Only two high years school. of high school, there was another yeah, one, one or two years. She was, she was when we came to Canada. Well, 57. She was born in... 42. 42. Testing 15. math. 15. <laughs> yeah, you're right. 15. 15. Well, 
she said 60. Oh, yeah. so I caught it like that. Maybe oh, almost 1957 we came. So she was yeah. Adam's age, pretty much. Yeah. No, she wasn't 16. She was born in 1942. She was 15. Yeah. 15 and she had to go to high school. She was so they embarrassed because she didn't wear the, the same year. clothes. The first thing we did at the weekend was go and get her fixed up with <laughs> clothes. Canadian and clothes. the accent, she said, she, said too. she, she really had a hell of a jumper. You know, I didn't socks. realize it then, but since I thought, you know, she went through a lot, but she made a lot of friends. She's still friends with them all. Yeah. I don't talk to anybody I went to high school well, with. She talks to all of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Goes to visit them. And, yeah. She's been to Arizona, not Arizona, way, way in the States to see Carolyn Woodfield. And the other one yeah, up, has a beautiful house up in Barry and what yeah. not, she goes there. You know what's good about it? What? Since we have all And my mum and dad, we took, we all no, all my mum and Auntie May oh, used to come. Why? To what? How did we do that? I remember Auntie May, remember oh. we went to, uh, when we lived in Saskatoon, Auntie May came. She, I think she was in her yeah. 80s. Yeah. 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 How do you not open but My mother was very jealous of it. Was she? Because Auntie May thought I didn't have any children. She was good to me. Yeah. And she also took Carol to France. We're playing a game. Before my time runs out, you just need to see this. What are you falling out about? We're playing a game. What is it that makes Nana, what is it makes you most crazy about living in your retirement home? What, what is it what? Makes you most crazy. It drives you mad. Well, it doesn't drive me mad, but it's, I'm very emotional That's because the war, awesome. the doctor told me, don't let anybody get after you for that, because that never leaves you. It's still embedded, the, the, the suffering, you know, you went through with the bombing and your husband, you know. And uh, I see these people, honest to God, they can, some of them are in wheelchairs, but some of them have dementia. Quite more and more every day. Mm. And you can't, that upsets me because you say hello to them. What's the matter with you? Oh, they don't answer. Mm. And I press the thing, press the thing, press the, you haven't. So now I go down before they come and sit in the thing. I go, if I, even if I'm on my own. And I just am friendly and click like the girls who I took to your mums. Yeah. Well, those that are. But one of them now has been told by the doctor, her memory's gone. Mm. So, but the girl What's in the wheelchair is just a wonderful person. One of the nicest girls. Oh. She was 37 and her, in a wheelchair. She got uh, her, like, no her hands are oh, like yeah. that. She's just, yeah. she just a computer. No, oh, yeah. Never complained. In a She's a oh, lot okay. hmm. 37 and her husband oh, left her. With a little girl. Oh, we're going to stream again. Oh. But she didn't marry again, and uh, he died with a tumor on his brain five years after. And she lived in that one of them big houses. He had his own business. She's financially okay. Down on Lockside near me, and her maiden name was Green. She's called Barbara Howard now. She's lovely. How old is she? 73 now. She's 73 the other day. Young, eh? She no, bought everything for Christmas on the computer. The other guy. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought the, the thing's not yes. coming yet. Yeah. No. Yes. We're all together. Mm. It'll come soon, I guess. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. 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 Oh, well. I've got a bag of red paper and the thing written out. Yeah. Maybe it'll together? come tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Did they deliver oh, them to the house? Yeah, yeah, but I don't think there's mail tomorrow on Boxing Day. Oh, yeah, because my white guy. Well, we can't help it. one of those guys. Isn't it one of those one. battle guys? Well, they did have a few words. I Some didn't more? think Kendra would have been coming. Because oh, wait, she will, even though this is going on, 